Ron Taylor tonight. Well, we know on Monday, Tennessee's Electoral College will finalize their votes. All of Tennessee's votes will go in favor of President Donald Trump. At 6.15 this morning, members of our MNPD SWAT team arrested Devontae Lewis Hill, age 21, for the murder of Nashville nurse Caitlin Kaufman. A suspect is behind bars for the shooting death of St. Thomas nurse Caitlin Kaufman. This morning, Metro Police arrested Devontae Hill after they received a tip about where the gun was located. A concerned citizen came forward Thursday afternoon and identified Hill as a suspect. The concerned citizen also provided information about the whereabouts of the 9mm used in the murder. Police were able to connect the gun and Hill's cell phone to the area on I-440 where Caitlin was shot. And Tracy, tonight we are learning more about the man arrested for Caitlin's death and his violent past. In fact, juvenile court records show that Devonte Hill, when he was just 16 years old, he shot his grandmother after fighting uh, with her about getting out of bed that morning. He also shot his 12 year old sister and his six year old nephew. All three survived and Hill pleaded guilty to those charges. Now we actually spoke with Hill's uncle back in 2016 shortly after that crime happened. This is just really something that, you know, I watch and see on TV or something, you know, to believe that it's my family and, you know, involved in this. Just unbelievable to me. Get your life together, man. You know, that's all I can tell you. And Hill's criminal history does not stop there. In fact, we have a breakdown right here. So in 2017, he pled guilty to simple robbery when he robbed someone with a gun. And then just last year, he was charged with assault, assaulting a co-worker at a Nashville restaurant. Tracy. Brittany, here's a look at the timeline of events in this case. Caitlin died December 3rd. That's last Thursday after 6 o'clock from a gunshot wound to the shoulder. Police say she died within seconds of being shot on 440 while driving to work. Now a week after her death, police announced a reward for information leading to an arrest hit $65,000. That was up 50 grand in just one day as we reported last night. And then an hour after that announcement, police received a tip about the gun used in Caitlin's death. An hour later, Police say they were able to locate the gun last night and they arrested Devonte Hill just after six this morning. We tried to talk to Hill's family today. They told our crews they have nothing else to say and to stay off the apartment complex property. We still do not know what motivated the shooting. Again, Hill, 21 years old. Chief John Drake said more arrests are possible. We have been working to talk with Caitlin's co-workers at St. Thomas Hospital. The hospital did send us a statement we want to read to you after this morning's arrest. It says in part, St. Thomas continues mourning the loss of Caitlin Kaufman's tragic passing and continues supporting the efforts of law enforcement officials working to seek justice. We are hopeful that justice for Caitlin's family will be served following the announcement that a suspect has been arrested. It goes on to say that those who knew Caitlin witnessed the overwhelming compassion and kindness she showed for each each person she cared for and worked alongside during her two years at St. Thomas West. Only on four, we're also hearing from people in Pennsylvania who knew Caitlin. Her former assistant principal, Douglas Ford, said she was a career motivated woman. Many in her hometown of Butler still in shock today at the news of her death. It'll help the family a little bit and, and get some closure that they, they might need, um, or at least work towards closure. My heart goes out to her family, and she would have done anything for anybody. Caitlin will be laid to rest tomorrow in Pennsylvania. When we find out a motive or if anyone else is arrested, we will send it straight to your phone through the News 4 app. It is free. Just search WSMV. Download it right now in your app store.